Let us see another Muslim. Hello? Uh, Muslim friend. Yes. That I'm just uh, debating with at the moment, and okay. he just asked me about the Trinity. Okay, well, he was listening to us in the conversation on YouTube or not? Yeah, he was, but okay. he said that he wants uh, you to explain the Trinity because I don't know exactly okay. uh, the full thing of let, it. So can him, you just let, explain it? Let him join us. Let him join you on the call? Yeah. But he, he said that he, he uh, doesn't want to call you. Oh, okay. All right, then I will hang up and I will answer his question. And ask Thank him you. if he can help us to answer when Allah, he said, be to Adam, what has Adam created before or after? Because the first Muslim, he ran away. Because this is a big yeah. mistake in the Quran. Anyway, my friend, thank you very much. I will, I will thank answer. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank you. You know, when somebody, he says, explain the Trinity, uh, obviously, if you want to take a little effort of yourself reading the Bible, you will know what the Trinity is. Very simple. And the funny is, you will find that the Muslim today, any Muslim you ask him, what is the Trinity of the Christian? He says, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. If we go in the Quran, you will find that Muhammad himself could not figure it out. And he claimed that Allah told him that the Trinity is Mary, Jesus, and Allah. Then you go in the Quran, you will find that Trinity doesn't exist. Why? Because the Quran says that the Christians believe that the Messiah is Allah. But if the Christian believe that the Messiah is Allah, so who is the second person and who is the third person? Obviously, the one who wrote the Quran, he have no idea what the Trinity is. So I'm not blaming our friend here, who is a Muslim, following the Quran. He do not know what the Trinity because his God do not know what the Trinity. We Christian, we don't believe that the Messiah is the Father. The Quran says, chapter five, verse number seventeen. They commit a blasphemy, though indeed those who say that Allah is a Christ, the son of Mary. First, we don't believe in Allah. Even some Arabic translation use the word Allah for the Bible. But this is after the Muslim occupation. But we don't believe in Allah, period. Same time, we don't believe that God the Father is the Messiah. That is a big mistake. Because if this is the case, who is the second person? Because now we eliminated two persons, we made them one. Allah, according to the Quran, Akka the Father, is a Christ. So if the Christian believe that Allah is the Christ, who is the second person, who is the th third person? If there is, this will not be a third person no more, this will be a fourth person. So here it shows you the ignorance of Muhammad. And then different verse, he says that, in, actually in the same verse, he claimed that the Christian, they worship Mary as part of the Trinity. And then the Quran says, if Allah wants to destroy them, if they are which means if they are God, He can destroy them. But this talk is cheap. Shouldn't He destroy Mary when she was alive to prove to us that He can? I can say, well, uh, my God can destroy Muhammad. And actually, He did. So the Quran brings us false reference about Jesus and do not know what is the Trinity is. Now we go to the Bible. In the Bible, from the beginning of any book in the Bible, you will see clearly that the Trinity is all over, even in the book of the Jews, which is the book of Exodus, with the book of Genesis. With any, any book, you will find that God is spirit. God came to Abraham as a man. So if we go right away to the first verses in the book of Genesis, we will see that God in his spirit God who? God the Father. Let me open the Bible. And you know, the nice thing about the Bible is not the same as the Quran, where you find the story all over the place because Muhammad, he, he is not really a prophet. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Okay. And the earth was without form and void, and the darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God, so right away from the beginning we find that God and His Spirit. 
Then we will find in the same book in the Old Testament, in the, in the Old Testament book, tons of, of a prophecy about Jesus, the Christ, who is going to be God. He will be called God with us, Emmanuel. And God, he came to Abraham as a man. And Abraham, he worshipped him. And then Jesus says to the Jews, what do you say of a Christ? He's, they said, well, he is uh, the son of David. If we go to Matthew chapter 22, the Messiah, he said to the Jews, what say you of Christ? What do you, what do you think was a Christ? Read with me. Yeshua asked them, which means Jesus, and said, what are you saying about the Messiah? Who is, whose son is, is he? They were saying to him, the son of David. He said to them, and how did David by spirit call him the Lord Jehovah? For he said, for what? For he said, the Lord Jehovah said to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I place your enemy under your feet. How the Lord, the Messiah, he came to us, or he, uh, 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 he present himself, he came to us as a man. But the Lord himself, being called by the Spirit, Lord, by who? By David, who the Jews, they think, that the Messiah is going to be descendant from David. So the Messiah he himself is saying, well, if I am the son of David, and he is my father, then how come David worship me and call me God? And then he says to them, if therefore David call him the Lord Jehovah, how is he his son? And no man could give him an answer. So to make it simple for you, the Trinity, the second we say God, we don't ask God why you can be God, because he is God, and you don't question God why you are, let us say, you know, some people, they are really weird, like they think God is a phone, but why you have two cameras? Why you don't have three cameras? What about having a better camera? What about, you know, I like God to be a six inch screen. It's God. So the second you say he is God, then you don't question how he is and why he is. Otherwise, you are not talking about God. And if God cannot be three, or even 10, or even seven, or as you wish, then he can't be God. If there is somebody, he says to me, there's God, and this guy is true God. Okay, well, can this God appear to me as a fire? He can. Okay, so how God become a fire? He's God. He can be, he can be whatever he wish. And actually, you will see the story here in the Quran, which is a story from the Old Testament. And the Quran, because it's made by a thief. In chapter 27, this is about Moses. When he came to the fire, he saw a fire in a tree, in the bushes. And the Quran describe it as a fire, not a holy light or you know, a fire. So he came to the fire. He said to his family, I'm going to go. I saw a fire from far. I'm going to get some fire from there. And, you know, we can light some wood here and we get warm. But when he came to it, to what? To the fire. He was cold. Saying. Blessed is who is ever in the fire, is in the fire, and who is ever around the fire. Who is the one around the fire? Moses. Who is the one is inside the fire? No Muslim dare to answer. But the answer in front of you, it says, He was called, which means a, a voice heard. And what the voice is saying? O oh, Moses, verily it is Allah, the Almighty, the All-Wise. 
So now if I go with the Muslims and their logic, Allah is one, but now Allah is a fire too. Is Allah the fire or he isn't the fire? Let us go to different verse in the Quran. We will find that Allah he turned into a tree. Chapter 28, verse number 30. But when he came to the fire, a voice was heard from the right bank of the valley, from a tree, Hollywood, in a Hollywood ground. O Moses, verily I am Allah, the Lord of the world. So look what happened. Muhammad, he cannot repeat the story, by the way, twice correctly. In the other chapter, there's a fire. In this chapter, there's no fire. The Muslim, they say to you, if you go a verse before, you will see the fire. But hold on. Yes, it says there's a fire. But here, the voice is not coming from the fire, it's coming from the tree. So when the other verse says, blessed is the one in the fire, who is in the fire? And here we have a bigger question. The Muslims oppose to God to come as a man. This is God is inside his creation. Well, isn't it the tree is his creation? Or maybe the tree is Allah. So the Trinity, very simple. This is how God he is. Three person. You don't like to follow three person God, don't follow him. But your God, Allah cannot be one. And he can't be three. And he can't be four. Why? Because as you see, the God Allah is a very confused God and he does not exist. When the Quran says, if Allah would like to have a son, He will take it, or a wife, he will take it from ourself. If Allah is one, how Allah will marry a wife from ourself? Do you have a kind? Do you Muslim have a kind of Allah? My kind is a human kind. What is the kind of Allah? Look at the first translation here, it says, we have found one near at hand and there is something far from Allah where in the Arabic it says here near where it says hand false translation you change the translator you will find a huge different this is a cover up translation look what happened if we would like to take a pastime, i.e. a wife or a son, we could surely take it from us, from us. Okay. Is that why Jesus become a son of God? Because he's from us? So if Allah want to take a son, it's possible. He will choose one from us. That's mean there's many Allah. Because if Allah won, how Allah became us? I remember the Muslim when they say, oh, when we say the word we, we are speaking about Allah as a majesty. But even that is a proof that Islam is false. Why? Because if Allah, he used the word we to make himself majestic, that means Allah, he don't like himself to be one. He like himself to be many. Otherwise, why he is using we, which is a fake we? Is he we or one? If he is one, but he likes to call himself we, 
as you claim to be majestic, well, that's mean he is copying the human being majestic. And the king, when he's saying, we the king, he is speaking in the authority of the names of the nobles who they made him a king. He don't have a single authority. That's why he say we. Allah, he say we what? He say to you, Allah, he speak about himself to be majestic. But that's mean Allah will not be look majestic unless he is many. It's not fit for Allah to be one. The proof, he call himself we. And then the garbage continue says, well, if we would like to take a wife or a son, we for sure we will take it from us. How many Allah there is? So when a Muslim, he says the Trinity, my friend, the Trinity is very simple. God, in order to be able to see him, he come to you as a man, because nobody can see God the way he is exactly, and live. The Quran, by the way, copy the story from the Bible, says the same. You cannot see God. Your God, he claimed that in order not to destroy the earth, he wear a veil. Allah, he wear a hijab. Allah, he is wearing a hijab, a veil. Chapter 42, verse number 51. So, the Trinity is God without a veil. God who come to you in a person. And that person is the Messiah. So you can see him. You can touch him. You can witness him. So the Messiah simply, when we say the Son of God, we, claim, we are speaking about the Word of God who became a flesh and came down to earth to witness, to be seen, to behold, to prove the existence of God. Because God is just a word, nobody can prove it. A Muslim, he say, if you have God, he never saw him. Muhammad never spoke to him. The Quran came to him by Jibreel. What if Jibreel is shaitan? Who knows who's this real, this guy? Who, there's any proof of it? In the case of the Messiah, that is God who came to us. We do not need God to prove that he exists no more. For God himself, he came to us. And if I say, how God can become one and three? Well, if God cannot become one and three in the same time, well, he is not almighty. It's impossible for you but it's not impossible for God. That's why we call him God. So, can God be one and three in the same time? If you say no, well then he cannot be God because there is something he cannot do. The God of the Quran says how Allah can have a son if you don't have a girlfriend. Additional proof that Allah can't be God. Because the God of Mary, he have a son, and Mary, she don't have a boyfriend. The one who made this verse, he forgot that he himself, he copied a story about Jesus. A person who have no father, and yet his mother, she have no boyfriend. No husband. So if Mary God can make Mary have a son without a man, and Allah cannot have a son without a woman, obviously your God is Muhammad. And he cannot be God. So the simple way to explain the Trinity is very simple. God is almighty. And it's not up to you to design him the way you like. Maybe you like God to be seven. Maybe you like God to be 10. Maybe you like God to be a tree. 
It's not up to you. God, he is what he is. When uh, God spoke to Moses, Moses says to him, what I will tell my people, who are you? He said, I am who I am. I'm your God, and that's it. What do you want to tell them? There's no names can describe God, and there's no names is enough to describe God. You say holy is not enough. You say perfect is not enough. You say the creator is not enough. Because all of them, they are exist, and they are existence for a very simple reason. For he is many things in the same time. Let us see Farhan. Maybe Farhan now he, he got some uh, vitamin and he can have a better answer. Hello? So Farhan, you will speak like adult or you will speak like a kid? Yeah, okay. I'm going to prove Jesus is not sinless. That's okay, no, point. you need to answer me first before we go there. No problem. You can prove as much as you want. No, no. So when no, no, Allah wait, he wait. said be, when Allah he said be, and he was, he said it before or after he made mud, he fashioned the mud, he breathed into the mud. Go ahead. Why are you asking me this dumb question we already went through? My friend, you did not answer me. I need answers. Here we have, we are seeking answers. We are not seeking conversation. We are seeking answers. You are the Muslim. You are, yeah. the, you are the one who laughs always, my friend. I want you to laugh more. So did Allah say be before he said to him, before he my, made my mud? Friend, my friend, my friend. I made a, you made a claim say Jesus is sinless, so I'm trying to disprove it. I showed you a verse from, from the Quran saying that Jesus is holy. You said to me he is a pure. It's the same, because the one no, is pure is the one pure. who he is the one who commit no sin. Yeah, you, you can be pure from ablution, from uh, for sexual immor immorality, from sins, from prophethood. It's the pure. He is pure from you. everything, and you are a liar again, because the second you say he is a pure, it means he's pure from everything. Did your so, God Allah say he is a pure from uh, from sexuality? Did he say so, the word okay. sexual? Did he say the word sexuality? Okay, okay, no, no, he didn't. So okay. what? So, so why he did... said he is a pure. That means he is a pure. So shut up. So now, no, no. Why did Muhammad no, no, say no, no? Listen, no, 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 You're no. So listen. So You're no, scared. no, no, no. You are scared. You are potato. So when Allah he said be, when Allah he said be to Adam, what, did wait, he say wait. the word be before he created Adam? Making the mud and fashioning the mud or after? Can I just make one st sentence? You can one make sentence. as many sentences as you wish after you no, answer you're this question. You're after you answer this question. But my friend Muhammad said, if me and Jesus were to stand before Allah on Judgment Day, then Allah would destroy bo both of us from, from even the judgment of the shadow of our fingertips. What does both that mean? him and Jesus. What does that mean? It means, it means they're both sinless. Uh, because what? Uh, sinful. It means they're both sinful. Both, okay. According to your okay, logic. Okay. According to your logic. So uh, I will go with you now. Your prophet, he said that. That means your prophet is a liar. Why? Because you are the one who says to me that Jesus is a pure. So why Allah will, call, will, will destroy, destroy somebody as a pure? Did, did I say he's pure from sin, as, as sins? He's pure from what then? Prophet. He from was what? born as a prophet. He's prophet. Pure, he what? was born as a prophet. Prophet. Your prophet is a, the Quran says a sinner. And just to show you that you are ignorant, isn't it your God Allah, Aka Muhammad says, that if you don't commit sin, Allah will destroy you? Yes. Okay, so that so that means you are stupid. So the example you gave me is an example showing you showing to me that Allah is a mentally ill. Because you said to me, Allah will destroy them because they are having sin, correct? Every child of Adam is a sinner. Listen. Every child of Adam, okay, aren't you the one who just said that? You just said, every child of Adam, you know, uh, uh, the, the prophet said, every son of an Adam, shaitan touch him, except Mary and her son. Is that correct? And Muhammad also said that every child of Adam. Did he say that? Uh, no, one by one. Yes, yes. Okay, so why shaitan cannot touch, he, why shaitan cannot touch Ad, uh, Jesus and his mother? Because Allah. Uh, the father or mother of Mary made a prayer okay. to Allah 
Oh, oh Allah protect uh, the off my offspring okay. so from now, the uh, accursed of shaitan. Exactly. So now Jesus and Mary are protected by Allah. Do we agree? Yes, but now was Muhammad, now protect, <laughs> was Muhammad protected by Allah? Uh, well, Muhammad said my shaitan uh, turned out to be good and uh, uh, became Muslim. Okay, uh, guys, Muhammad, he said my shaitan became good and became a Muslim. But was Muhammad protected from shaitan? At his birth? No. Uh, this is not a question. Was Muhammad protected from shaitan? <laughs> no. I'm asking you about Muhammad's life. Was Muhammad protected from shaitan? Okay, wait, wait. Muhammad said every child of Adam uh, Abdul, was answer the question. Stop wait. being a kid. Was Muhammad, we, we learn from you that Mary and Jesus were protected from shaitan. Thank you very much. Now the question no, no, is... No, no. Now, now I'm going to disprove your interpretation. Muhammad said every child of Adam is inclined to inclined and committed sins, except exactly. Uh, That's why you are stupid. Except, Jesus, except, yeah, yeah. Jesus except, is except, not the yeah, son, yeah. and this is why Jesus is not the son of Adam. Is he son of Adam? I didn't. Let me finish. Every child, Muhammad said, every child of Adam is is not is inclined towards uh, misbehaving and commit, committed misbehave, except Yahya. Who is Yahya? So just. Uh, the cousin of Jesus, you, you, you know who he was. He, he, he was in your Here Bible. we go. Anything have to be with Jesus and have to be holy. So now we have Jesus and we have Yahya, the cousin of Jesus. Well, Muhammad said my family is the so best. Family. Let us go. Well, Muhammad's family is the best family, but all of them they are homosexual. Isn't it, your, homosexual. Isn't it your prophet? Isn't it your book says that your uncle, your prophet uncle, he he don't he don't enjoy his life except by semen in his anus. My friend, what does they have to do with anything? You just told to me the best family, <laughs> and now we find that they are they are homosexual. So the best family of Muhammad, they are what? what they are kufar, they are pagan, and they are uh, and, and his father is a pagan too. So let's so, focus, so, focus so with me. About, focus with me, Abdul. Now, so, so, look, so, what what we, his so look what we learn. What about, uh, Let us go back to what, zero. What about Ali, was Muhammad was Muhammad protected from sin, the same as Jesus? Yes or no? You are a coward, my friend. My friend, you are a son of Muta. <laughs> well, I don't believe in Muta. Okay, listen, listen. Here we go. I'm going to prove that Muhammad is a fraud. What kind of a prophet he allow you to do to go and rent? Did you did you see the video of Mami Hijab? It says Muslim Sunni they, they marry for two minutes. Right. It's funny how he called you son of Muta. <laughs> you call yourself son of Muta. Yeah, you are son of Muta. Aren't you find Muhammad? So did you see? Why? Did you see the video of Mami Hijab? Did you see the video of Mami Hijab saying that? Muslim Sunni, and you are a Sunni, right? They marry yeah. for two minutes? No, he was against it, you idiot. You didn't get his oh, point. Oh, he's against it. Who is the one who allow Muslim Sunni to marry for two minutes? Well, temporary marriage in Islam is forbidden. The Prophet who forbade. said this is temporary marriage? This is marriage. There's nothing the called temporary. temporary uh, hold on, those are Muslim Sunni. They are not Shia. He's not talking about the yeah, Shia. I'm a Sunni Muslim, yes. It's they are Sunni, Sunni, okay. Yeah, they are Sunni. What are you happy to do, you and your friends? Yeah, it's acquiesced to the fact what? that you guys are going around, yeah, marrying people for two minutes, what and three minutes, say? and five minutes, and one hour, two hours. Whatever. Did you see it? So those are Muslim Sunni. They follow which religion? Marrying for two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, one hour, two hour. What is the religion? Sunni. No, she has. She, she has do muta. Those are Salafi, Abdul. Those talking about Salafi. <laughs> Again, you took Muhammad Hijab out of context. Oh. If you, no, he's talking about Salafi. Here we right go. Now. This is a video. This is a video made by the Salafi, and he is speaking about Salafi. He's speaking about the Sheikh. His name is Abu Khadija, and not only that, he accused them that they marry six sixty times. Listen yeah, carefully. Huh? Your Salafis are always accused marriage and divorce, marriage and divorce, marriage. <laughs> so is there any Sunnah for this? Is there any evidence for this? Can that be, by the way, Ikhwan? So he's saying that Mimi Hijab is a liar. We don't marry sixty women. We don't marry for two minutes. We marry for two hours, two hours, three hours, not two hours. So Abdul, listen carefully. So listen, you're trying to change the topic. Okay, let us. We're talking about sin now. Is it the sin of Muhammad to allow you to do? It was. It was a sin of Muhammad to allow you to do one hour stand sex. He is a filthy man. Now let us go back to zero. Oh, what's filthy it, man? You are a filthy alive, man. man. You get upset if I call you son of Muta. If I say to you son of Muta, you get upset, correct? Okay, I will call you son of Muta. Do you get upset or not? You are son of Muta. 
You regard as the son of Muta. See, I piss here on we go. Dad. That is the proof so that Muta. That is proof. That is proof that the Muta is a prostitution. Ooh. Otherwise, you will not get upset. So you must have your lie when you say Muta is a marriage. Because if it is a marriage, you don't get upset. I'm calling you son of marriage. What a big deal. But because Muta is a prostitution, you get upset. You see how easy to prove them to be false believers? If Muhammad is a good man, he will not allow for any reason to do such a thing. They will say to you, it's a war. Well, do we have war all the time? When the last time war stopped in the Middle East? But when the Christians and the Jews, they start laughing at this religion, and we do not know really if it's true that he forbid it, and how he can forbid the Quran. The Quran says you do muta. Yeah, that is, that is one of the most... Yani, one of the most evil statements that is made against the people of Sunnah. Anyone who's familiar with the other communities will know that the affair of divorce among them is far, far more disproportionate than among the people of Sunnah. But it is us who are highlighted, that is it. And that is the manner of those who fight against the people of Sunnah, Da'im and Wa'abadan. They will look for any excuse to highlight the people of Sunnah as evildoers. Apparently, uh, our brothers at SP. Yani, there is someone among them has married 60 times, apparently. 60 times. 60 times. How many, how, how many times Muhammad Yaf? So look, look how funny he is. Mimi Hijab is upset that Muslim Sunni, Salafi, those are the Orthodox Muslims, those are the original Muslims. They are marrying for two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes. But this is what halal. They are marrying. There's no limit. There's nowhere in the Quran it says you can do marry for 10 years. You marry as you wish. 60 times. And as you see, when you ask the Muslim a question, he try his best to run away from the answer. Jesus and his mother, they were protected. Was Muhammad and his mother protected? No. Why? Shaitan could not touch Jesus. Why? Because uh, his, uh, uh, the, the grandmother of Jesus, she made the prayer. What the heck? Is that enough reason? Every son of an Adam is a sinner. Well, this is why Adam is not the father of Jesus. You see, when you ask yourself why Jesus is a person who have no father in Islam, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense there. They will say to you, it's the same as Adam, as the first in the Quran saying, that's stupid. Adam is not born to be the same as Jesus. He's not the same. Adam is made from mud. Even the stupid Quran says, وَجَعَلْنَاهُ نَسَبًا وَصَرًا Every person after Adam is coming from sexual intercourse. نَسَبًا وَصَرًا But that's mean the Quran is lying again. Because isn't it the same book confirmed that Jesus is not from sexual intercourse? This is your stupid Quran, chapter 25, verse number 54. And this is the same verse allow Muslim to have sex with their daughters if they are daughters from adultery. You can open the tafsir and read it. Open al qurtubi So look what happened. Those people, the second you touch their religion, they get hurt. If having sex, if, uh, if Mimi Hijab is accusing them of having sex uh, with women for two minutes, three minutes, five minutes. Aren't you the one who believe 
that your God will give you a lot of women from heaven for sex? If heaven is full of sex, why earth will not be? Which place is more holy? Are you trying to convince yourself that you are going to be holy in earth, but you will not be holy in you will be not holy in heaven? So did Allah, did the Quran make a mistake? And the funny he says to me, well, Allah, he said he will destroy uh, Isa and uh, Muhammad. That is good, even more stupid. Allah, when he created everything, he wrote the name of Muhammad in his chair. And now you want to destroy Muhammad? Isn't it Muhammad, he said, that Allah, he says, If not, you are, did not create anything. So do you see how you make, make them uh, expose themselves? You ask them what Muta is, they say, temporarily marriage, call him son of Muta. He will get upset. That's mean, this is not marriage, this is prostitution. Because if it's marriage, I did not insult you. Correct? If Muta is marriage, why you get upset? Why he felt like he's insulted? That's mean Muta is something bad. Then how in the world we have verse in the Quran promoting Muta? You pay women money for enjoying it. Enjoying what? Enjoying their vagina. And they say to you, this is marriage. Then why if I call you son of Muta, you get upset? You just got yourself busted. Muta is a prostitution. You get offended because that's mean your mother is a whore. So what Islam does? Islam make the women a whore. She get paid for sex. And Muhammad, he practice it. Omar, he practice it. Ali, he practice it. Everybody practice it. This is Al-Bukhari, they can't say this is weak. The Prophet said, if a man and a woman agree to, to not to marry, by the way, it doesn't say here marry, it says Ishra. Ishra means sleep together, to live together. There's no marriage. Here we go, the Arabic is in clear in front of us. You can copy it, you will see nowhere it says the word marriage, not even a single time. Ayyuma rajulin wa imra'a. توافق فعشرة ما بينهما ثلاث ليال فإن أحب أن يتزايد أو يتترك تترك. so if they like to stay three nights three days if they like to increase they increase increase what if in so Jesus is a pure the pure Jesus will never allow such a thing is Jesus holy no no he's pure He's not holy, he's pure. Who is else? He said Yahya. Who is Yahya? John the Baptist, the cousin of Jesus, supposedly. It would look like anything have to do with Jesus is holy. And you know, uh, always, always, you need to force or enforce answers. There's one thing I don't like about Christians when they deal with Muslims. You see, Muslims, they try to do mockery. Ha ha. When a Muslim, he laughs loud, he is just in pain. He is not really having a good time. This is because he's in pain, not because he is uh, happy. It's a painful laugh. So, I will give you the question, Muslims, in the comment or now, you can join us on Skype. When Allah, he created Adam, he said, be the Quran says. Did Allah say be before he created Adam? 
before he made the mud? Before he fashioned the mud? Before he breathed into the mud or after? No Muslim dare to answer because whatever he answered is wrong. Because that's mean the word be mean nothing. Did nothing. Still Allah have to breathe. Still Allah have to fashion. Still Allah have to model. Still Allah have to, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, to mix mud with, uh, with water. Dirt with water to make it mud. So what before? So if he say B after he created Adam, that means B is useless. Because already he created him. If he say B before he made the mud and, and then he have to do the mud and he have to breathe and he have to fa fashion, then B did nothing too. It's just a stupid statement. And this is why he don't want to talk about it. Isn't it, this is the same book says, if this is a book made by other than Allah, you will find a knot of contradiction. Isn't it, this is what Mimi Hijab, he said to Borat in the beginning of our intro. And then Borat, he said to him, well, I have a phone book, I have zero contradiction. What does this have to do with God? And as mentioned, if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> so we just heard a Muslim bringing an atheist to attack Jesus. And then this atheist, he got Allah busted. Did you see what Borat he said? Borat the fool, he got them both. Even Borat is not a is not a fool like Muslims. I have a phone book. I have zero contradiction. I don't think it's made by God. So what kind of God this God is? The proof that you this is a book from God, there's no contradiction. Anyone can do that. But even this one could not maintain it. The Quran is full of contradictions. The one who's asking me about he planned to bring a Muslim, bring him. Don't tell me. Just to bring him. Uh, Al Islam Abdullah is saying to me, Jesus is praying to prove who? Praying to God. That's a good question. Well, Jesus is a praying to the Father. Isn't it the Bible says that the Father glorified the Son and the Son glorified the Father? But I will give you back the same question. In Christianity, we have no problem. The Messiah speak to the Father, pray to the Father, and the Father glorify the Son. But when Allah, he pray, he pray to who? Mimi Hijab, he says, he pray for, not to. The Quran says, Allahu wa malaikatahu yusalluna al nabi. All of us, we knew what the word yusalli mean. Suddenly, the Muslim, they change the translation. Suddenly, it means blessing. Suddenly, the word Salat means blessing. Why they say that? Because they are trying to duct tape. And even if we use it as a blessing, sorry, I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> Look how stupid this statement is. They try to fix it now. So Allah sent Salat and blessing, and mercy, mercy, etc. On who? On the Prophet. And also his angels. And look what they add. They ask Allah for blessing. Nowhere in the Quran verses says that. Where in the verses says they ask Allah? And look how two words in Arabic became a long phrase. In Arabic it says Allah and his angels, they pray on the Prophet. All who you believe, pray on him too and salute him. Change the translator.
Let's see Ahmed uh, Ahmed Ali. This is a new one. I never tried him before. God and his angels shower his their blessing on the prophet. Do you see how stupid this statement is? Because if God he made a blessing, who need the angels? Do the angels bless somebody or God only? God and his angels pray on Muhammad. They are replaced with a blessing, but that will make it more horrible. Because that means angels can bless you too. And they are gods. And then it says, Oh, who you believe, you should send your blessing on him. Have you ever heard of a stupidity like this? Muslim can send a blessing? I thought only God can send a blessing. This is a translation of somebody is a mushrik. They associated the angels with God and they associated the man with God. For now, all of them, they can send a blessing. Any Abdul? So remember, please, from now on, we have Mr. Farhan. He proved to us that Jesus is pure. He is not holy. He is pure. Is Muhammad a pure? No. Who? Jesus is a pure. This is an example of the stupidity of this religion. They tried to fix it. They make it blind. So Jesus is a pure. Muhammad is not. Which one is higher? In Christianity, when we say holy angels are the one who don't commit sin, period, because they are angels. But there is still an option for angels to commit sin. For us as a Christians, we believe that Satan himself is a fallen angel. Any Muhammadan? <clears throat> I am a Sunni Muslim. <clears throat> Sorry. A Sunni Muslim, he called himself a Christopher. What a joke. Eliza saying to me, Muta is halal. Hello. Yes, Eliza, how are you? Hello. Are you there? What happened? She sent me a message saying Muta is halal. Oh, she can't hear me. She sent me a message saying Muta is halal. Uh, Eliza, she is a Muslim lady. She practiced Muta. Good for you. You will never spend the night in bed alone. And you will make money. A lot of money. Just be sure you get the closer to the pharmacy. You hear me now? Can you hear me? I hear you, yes. Go ahead. You said you're making fun of muta when we're allowed to do it. So do you do muta yourself? Yes. How much you get paid for it? Why do you care what I do? What? Why do you care what I do? I didn't understand. What is that? 
my dear care so much. My... Anyone tell me what she is saying? What problem is it to you? If ah, I'm your problem. Ah, this is your problem. No, I'm not. <clears throat> this is not, we're not talking about problems. <clears throat> I'm just trying to help other Muslim girls if they like to do the same business like you. Why you don't like to help people to make money? So is it a good we're allowed. We're allowed to do it. You're allowed to do it, exactly. But like, there's a price, you know. Do you have a price? Do you change the price? Well, how, how you price your business? But what is your problem with it? I'm not problem. Maybe we can get you some customer. What's wrong, what's wrong with you? Then what's the point of bringing it? Well, you are the one. You are the one who practice it, and you are the one who texts me to talk about it. And now the second we talk about it, you don't want to talk about it. What's wrong? So why do you try and say it's wrong if we're allowed to do it? It's for you. Obviously, it's not wrong. Allah allowed you to do it. But why Allah allowed to do it? What do you think? But why do you say it's wrong if we're allowed to do it? Yeah, I mean, you are allowed as a Muslim. For me, as a Christian, this is very bad, because that makes you a prostitute. You are, get, my, you are getting paid. It's my body. You are getting paid for sex, isn't it? Right? Yeah, but it's not hurting anyone. Okay, but is that what religion? The follow what? I mean, you, so your religion allows you as a Muslim to rent your body, correct? Yes. Okay. Do you like it? Yes. How much you like it? I can do it for free for you. Oh, for me. I'm special, right? Yes. Is that going to be expired soon or this is like open offer? Mm, you have 21 days. Why 21 days? I don't know. Is that Islamic or? Yes. This is Islamic, 21 days. Oh, okay. Can I bring friends? We can do threesome. Ah, mashallah, mashallah. Yeah, you are, well, the Prophet, he used to have 13 some. Right? Sometimes he did more. He did more, yeah. You were there? With, um, with his slave girls. Yeah, with the slave girls, yeah. Okay, that's why you like it, don't you? But they let him do it because they wanted to do it. Oh, they, they, oh, he was trying to help them. There's nothing wrong with this. Wait, 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 wait. Did, not, did I say anything? It, it, it is all your, like, all your family. Yeah, there, because right? you keep saying there. there's something wrong with it to everyone. Okay, I, I want you to tell me why it's not wrong. Go ahead. Because it's not hurting anyone. But uh, you can spread diseases. Not if we're using protections. Did your prophet use protection? Mm, coitus interruptus. Who? Oh? I don't know. You don't know. Okay. Well, actually, there's a there's a there's a protection. According to Muhammad, if you don't say the name of Allah, there's a prayer. If you don't say it, Shaitan he round himself around the private part of the male, correct? Mm, that's from a hadith. Okay, so just don't make the prayer, and then he will have a Shaitan around his private part, and he will be protected. Don't you believe what your prophet says? But why do you keep telling everyone like it's wrong and stuff? Yeah, because I believe this is a, I believe prostitution is wrong. For women, she is but we, she's being abused. We don't one. This, is a, this is abuse for the women. This is used for we the women. We don't believe the same thing as you. Okay, you don't believe. I understand. So, uh, uh, how old are you, Eliza? Now, I'm twelve. You are twelve. Twelfth century. I'm not going to tell you how old. Hey, come on, what's, what, how old are you? Are you like 35, 40? How old are you? I'm 92. 92, okay. Well, uh, well, I'm happy for you, 92 lady. Uh, uh, I see you're trying to open your camera for me, but thank God it's not opening. So thank you for calling. Oh boy.
No shame. Oh. Welcome to Islam. Anyway, at least she is truthful. You know, this is what they do. And this is what Mimi Hijab is saying. They marry women for two minutes, three minutes. You know, it's true. They claim they don't practice it, the Muslim Sunni no more. But this is the truth. All of them, they practice the same thing. They go and they rent the women for 15 minutes. You know, you go to the mosque. You can ask the sheikh. If there's any women available, you tell him, brother, I don't want to commit sin, brother. I want the women. I need the women, brother. You know what I mean, brother. And then he will recommend the women for you. And he will marry you to her. You go and you do the business. You are good to go. All you're happy to do, you and your friends, yeah, is acquiesce to the fact that you guys are going around yeah, marrying people for two minutes and three minutes and five minutes and one hour, two hours, whatever it may be. No, Salafis are always accused of marriage and divorce, marriage and divorce, marriage. <laughs> so is there any sunnah for this? Is there any evidence for this? If there's any evidence of this, watch my program. Hmm. Do we have any Muhammadan? Uh, you know, there's a, there's one of you, he sent me uh, a petition for somebody, he is a Christian, he is in jail in, uh, in Pakistan, and they are making petition. Me, myself, I don't believe in those petitions can do anything, but it might work. But before I send it, let me be sure that this is an authentic link. Uh, yeah, so this is the link if you like to sign this petition. This is actually, I think he is like an, maybe an ex-Muslim who became a Christian. There's his story is there. He was sentenced for 10 years and now they are trying to execute him. I just posted the link for you. I hope you guys, you learned something good today. As you see, Muslims are really funny, and they are dummies. They do not know what they believe in. And the second you put them in a corner, they try to make a mockery. And you have always to learn how to force them to answer. Otherwise, they will never answer you. They will never, ever answer any question. And this is the mistake Christians, they do when they debate Muslims. They let the Muslim change the topic in the speed of light. Why are you are asking me this stupid question? He said to me. Uh, we have Islamic Defender here now. Let us see. Islamic Defender. It says he is not online. Defender. I mean, even they choose names for themselves, they are really something. Do we have any Muslim want to say anything?
Anyone? Addition that Jesus is a pure and Muhammad is not. And supposedly he had a victory now. Jesus is pure, Muhammad is not. Okay, that, that's good. And that's me, Muhammad is better, man. So Jesus is a pure. Uh, pure from what? He said, like, pure from, like, uh, sexuality, you know? you know? Yeah, okay, really? He's pure from sexuality. Is your prophet pure from sexuality? No, he's not. <laughs> it was a fix. Oh, boy. Well, no problem. Even if you try to call with a different name, we can take him just for fun. Just for fun. Uh, I get a lot of messages, and what makes me upset is those are Christians. Uh, I just I just see a message here from somebody sent me a message, December thirty first, two thousand twenty one. Do you see how much I can read messages? I'm going back now. I went all the way back. I did hundreds of messages. He's saying to me, Happy New Year. Uh, someone sent me a message saying, Find me one error in the Quran is enough to prove that Quran is not a divine. Then why Muslims argue with others, different topic. Uh, okay. Message after message. My question is about facility. You said that you're you're gonna prove that facility is allowed in Islam. Uh -huh. and I can prove it. Let us call this guy. But this message is old. But I don't know if maybe we can get him. Talk to us, All right? He hang up. That's good. He hang up. He said, can you prove? You said that basility is allowed in Islam. Don't be coward. Answer my question. On basility. Okay, okay, okay. You scared the hell of me. Take it easy. Here we go. I will answer your question in two seconds. No, he will say, I don't agree with it. <laughs> okay. This is the book of Al Muni, Abdullah ibn Qudama, value number three, page number 216. And this is a translation to English. It says here before to go in Arabic, in English. 
that the one who do have sex with an, an animal during the Hajj, his Hajj will be valid. His Hajj will be valid. And this is all over Islamic books. And those are Muslims from me. Here it says, and by that, as Shafi'i, this is one of the Muslim Sunni sect, they are four sects. Wabu Thawri Takharaju fi Wat Wat il Bahima, and Al Hajjala Yafsubihi. Wahua Kawlu Malik wa Abi Hunaifa. So now we have three Islamic Sunni sect agree that you can have sex with a donkey and still you can do Hajj. Let us use translation. It says here. Abbas, she'll give camel shield and she camel because she is one of the parents together. Translation is coming really horrible. Uh, so he's speaking about sleeping with animals, having sex with animals. That will not spoil the Hajj, this is not important for us. And this is the opinion of the Hanafi and the Maliki. And uh, uh, who else? Let's go back to Arabic. Shafi'i and Hanafi and Maliki. And this is all over Islamic books. Fatwa number 214033. The, what is the requirement if somebody have sex with a man or he have sex with an animal or he killed a lice? Please. And here they are giving you all the opinion. I mean, look at the question, guys. What is required if a muhram is doing hajj? If he do sodomy and he did animals and he kill fleas. Look what this guy is worried about what? He do sodomy. He do animals. And he is worried about killing fleas. Does sodomy with animals and killing fleas in, 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 uh, invalidate the Hajj? And here, praise be to Allah, blah, 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 blah. And now there is different opinion. There is different between intercourse from the front or in the back of a human being or an animal. <laughs> As Shafi'i said, brother. <laughs> if you have intercourse, brother, with an animal, the Hajj is not spoiled, brother. Your Hajj is valid, brother. Good news. Aren't you happy? Let me send you the link. And this Muslim is excited. You liar. You said uh, we do basility in Islam. You are a liar. The Prophet says the one who do that kill him. Hmm. Let us shorten the link. Shorten. I'm sure that this guy now is excited. Now he can, his Hajj is valid. What do you want more? If your Hajj is valid, everything is valid. And look how he connect things. Green fleas, doing sodomy with men and having boom boom with animals. And this is the link. I shorten it. Oh, Lord, have mercy.
Yes, my friend. Why you are keeping uh, calling me? You are a Christian, right? I am a Christian. I'm so sorry for disturbing the lives. I just have a, a quick question for you, CP. Okay. But you know, we don't, uh, when, we, when we say Christian can call, Christian can call. Otherwise, you should, should not be calling. I'm so sorry, CP. You know, this is my first time watching you on um, the live. I've seen other videos uh from other people's channel but i've never ever seen you on live so this is my first time. i'm really sorry I'm, I no problem we will make an exception go ahead yes um cp um i've been watching your videos uh before watching your videos i have no idea about islam um i've always heard that it's a religion of peace this and this and this and this but i know it's not true um i have a very close friend um that is a muslim uh she's a muslim um and after watching your videos, I've asked her some basic questions about Islam, like, um, like for example, uh, what is the reward for a, a, a female that is a Muslim if she goes, like, if she dies, what is her reward? Because I know the men they're promised seventy virgins. Uh, from your videos, I've, I've, I know that those are the lowest um, Muslims that get seventy wives. If you're a good Muslim, you could get 100, 200, 300, You know. Mm -hmm. so like what is the benefit of a woman if she's a muslim and she dies like what is her reward so i've asked my friend this basic question she does not know um i've asked her basic basic question why do you pray five times per day she doesn't know like what i've gathered from from questioning her basically she's a muslim by culture like she doesn't know anything about islam yeah so if i want to bring somebody out of islam how do you bring them out of Islam if they don't know anything about Islam? Well, the first the first thing you should do, you see everyone, he see the world in a different way. Like, mm -hmm. if me and you, we go to a place, and we sit together, let's say we have a lake in front of us, and they ask you a question, what do you like about the view in front of you? You might give an answer different from my answer. Why? Because each one of us, as a human, we have different interests. So yes. when, a, when a person he speaks to you, everyone should be different. So you try first to ask what, what Islam for you. Try to have a conversation saying, what make you believe in Islam? And based on what she say or what he say, you can go from there, you know, because they will start with their, the most interesting points in their belief. Uh, and they will mention them to you. And then you go from there. So if she mentioned, uh, oh, there's uh, people who prove science, then you show her the errors in the Quran. If she mentioned that Islam is about holy, uh, being uh, modest, you show her that Muhammad was not modest and he was not holy. So depend on the person, how he introduced to you the, his religion, then you go from there. Mm. Because um, just one last point, then I'll, I'll free up the live so you can continue with the topic. Um, because I've, I've even tried to, uh, you know, just question, like, for example, uh, Muhammad married um, Aisha, she was six years old. So I just gave an example to my friend, like, she has little siblings, uh, they're about 10 years old, and I asked her a simple question, like, um are you willing to marry off your your sibling she's only 10 years old and you know immediately she cut it from my mouth she's like no uh they're too young they're children you know and then i'm like but don't you think they're ready to get married and she gets angry she's like you know you're really hurting my feelings by saying these things like you know so i just stopped you know so it's like if in her mind she knows that you know children are not supposed to get married so later on when i come back and show her that the prophet married a six-year-old you know then that's going to cause some issues in her head like you know like it's gonna uh what do they call it cognitive dissonance is where you know something is wrong but you fight against it in your own head yeah uh-huh well you know uh, some muslim they will try to justify that and they will say at that time uh, things is different and uh, the in in the desert uh, girls they grow so fast and you know all the garbage uh, so, you know, you, when you speak to a person, as I said, every person is different. Like this woman, obviously, she don't, she hate to see somebody sleeping with a child, right? Mm -hmm. So that yeah. hurt her, you know? Uh, obviously, she don't like it. Obviously, it's ugly for her. That's a good sign. But still, that will not be enough reason for her to refuse him because they will say to her, 
when he was ordered to do that by God. And Aisha, she wasn't like six years like now. At that time, they are they look like 18, you know? So they will give, the, the, the they try always to duct tape all the sinful act of Muhammad. Uh, as I said, the best way is let the person introduce himself to you, what he like about Islam, and then you go from there. Mm, mm, mm. And if you Very want, simple. you can ask your friend to call me. Please welcome. <laughs> I will definitely. I found your 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 YouTube channel because I heard your YouTube channel was Christian Prince. I searched everywhere on YouTube. I can't find Christian Prince, and then I see like twenty different channels that they they copy your materials and post it on their channel. And then yeah. I'm commenting on every channel like, what's the official channel for CP? You know, so I found it now. I'm gonna. Uh, uh, be you know, I subscribe already. I'm gonna definitely watch my friend. My all my videos, all my videos, it. all my videos, they have patreon.com slash Christian Prince, right? So, this is obviously where you can find yeah. where my video is. So, you do not need to yeah. donate, it's open. This is for donation, yes, but it's a link. You can go there, click at the last video I posted, it's for free for everybody, and you will find where I am. Very easy. Thank you so much, Christian Prince. You're um, welcome. Uh, could you, if, if you have the chance, can you give me the website that you use to pull up uh, the hadith and different things? I know the Wow Quran, I have that on my phone. I use that a lot. The other one, the hadith, I, I use sunnah.com. Sunnah.com. Oh, soon, okay, okay. I found, okay, I have that one then. So, the, yeah. man, you're doing a great job. Thank you so much, brother. Um, I really love your content. Keep it up. You're God welcome. bless you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And by the way, I think you're an African, uh, uh, correct? Are you, are you, are you very correct. Okay, and yeah, uh, if you are speaking to African, then you should show them how racist he is. Uh, you know, they, they, my friend, she knows, she knows. She said that um, uh, she told me that even like in Saudi Arabia, like the Arabs always tell the Africans that they know nothing about Arabic. They don't even know how to speak Arabic. They don't know. Like she knows there is a lot of racism. So that's what I'm saying. Like. The, the co cognitive dissonance is in your head. You know that these people, uh, the Muslims, they're, they're racist against Africans. You're an African, but yet you're claiming uh, to be a Muslim. You see, I'm not talking about Muslim now. I'm talking about Islam. Islam is a racist religion because when you go to heaven, Allah will make only white people enter. If you are black, Allah will make you white in order to enter. Mm. Okay? So, and Muhammad, he said actually, and this is an authentic hadith that when Allah He created Adam, He hit him in the right shoulder, and from there, the white uh, uh, race he emitted like white ants, and and He hit Adam in the left shoulders, and from there, uh, the black people come like a uh, like circle, and then He says to the one from the right shoulder, He said to them, "You go to heaven, and I don't care." which means the white people go to, here, go to heaven. And he said to the black people, you go to hell and I don't care. So if a person is black, he accepts such a religion, then he has mental illness then. Hmm. You know? And not only that, even the Quran says, and the admin will post for you the hadith I just mentioned, you can copy it and you can show it. Even the Quran says that the day Allah will make faces black and the day Allah will make faces white. So what will happen if you go to chapter 27, 27, verse number 82, there is, there is, a, uh, there is a beast, it's called a Jassasa, mm -hmm. and that beast is going to come from the ground, and that beast is going to have the staff of Moses and the ring of Solomon. It's going to make you black by the staff of Moses, it's going to make you white <laughs> by the ring of Solomon. <laughs> Can you believe it? And not only that, I can't believe you that. continue, <laughs> you know, uh, you can go to Ibn Kathir, by the way, you can go chapter 27, verse number 82, the Ibn Kathir English translation, if Muslims don't believe. And uh, not only that, the black stone was white like milk, correct? And then the sin of mankind made it black. So what, <laughs> you, what do you understand from that? Sin make... Sin is black make you black correct mm. so she mm -hmm. the, the black stone because at that time there's no sin was white like milk but then the sin of mankind made it black 
So how in the world anyone he is a he's a black? I mean, black people are the last one to follow such a garbage. But the pro the problem is, you know, they don't know. Nobody told them. They told them Muhammad is against slavery. Muhammad he owns slaves. Muhammad yeah, he died. Even today, Muhammad, yeah, Muhammad he died, and Bilal is still is a slave. Did he free Bilal? He did not. Bilal he said to to Abu Bakr. If you bought me for the sake of Allah, then free me for the sake of Allah. If you bought me for the sake of yourself, then keep me for yourself. Hypocrite. They, and they promised Bilal to go to heaven. At least free him now. You know? <laughs> well, imagine you have a slave and you say to him, don't worry, you can stay my slave. You will go to heaven, okay? <laughs> Madness. He have a slave. He, he sleep with them. He raped them. He have a slave men. He, he beat them. And then they say to you that Islam is against slavery. No. All right, my friend. Thank you very much for calling. Thank you so much. Thank and you feel so free much. to invite your friends to call me if they like so. Yes, I will. I will tell her. All right. God bless. Take care. Thank you, CP. Take care. God bless. You know, I believe that African they have a special duty today. You see, uh, uh, there is a time where. Uh, the disciple of Jesus, they went to Africa, right? And they brought the gospel to the Africa. And then the funny, the, the Muslim, they say to you, do you know what the white man did to the black man? They will not tell you that the white man, my friend, is not the one who slaved those, 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 those uh, uh, black people in Africa. It was the Arab in North Africa, in Morocco, in Tunisia, in Libya, in Mauritania. The biggest market of slavery in the world was in Morocco. They are the one who capture the poor human in Africa and they sell them out to the white criminal who want to abuse the white, the black one. What does this have to do with the Christianity? So they mention the white man who bought the slave, but they don't mention to you who is the one who captured them and who is the one who owned them first. So I believe that the black people today, they have different mission. They can be a, a better missionary for Christ to prove that Christ is for everybody. The Bible says there's no Greek, there's no Hebrew, there's no free, there's no slave. For all is one in Jesus name, I mean to that. So my brother here from Africa, if he is doing better war for Christ, he is way better than me. If I'm doing better war for Christ, I'm better than him. But it's not his color, neither my color, who make me better or worse. And this is the Quran in front of us, chapter 27, verse number 82. And this is Ibn Kathir copying his prophet that this beast will come from the ground and is going to have the staff of Moses. No, no believer left without making a white spot in his face which will spread into his face shining white as a result. And there will be no disbeliever left without making a black spot in his face, which will spread into his face is black as a result. It's in front of you. And then they lie to us and they say Islam is against slavery. I mean, imagine the guy who owned a slave, they made him, he is a person against slavery. And actually, Muhammad, in order to increase the slavery market, he said to them, free a slave if you commit sin. So what they would do? But he don't forbid you to own a slave. You free one, you go and buy the second one. <laughs> you know, like, like a guy who's, a guy who sell, let us say, sardine. Sardine, you know, he's selfish. He says to you, uh, if you want to be forgiven, uh... Give fish to somebody. So now what people would do need to buy more fish. If you say burn a candle, now people need to burn, to burn more candles. So now what he do? He said to them, oh, you know, you can uh, uh, free a slave, free a slave, but come and buy them from me. I will go and capture more, just wait. And then when Muhammad, there's many stories about people who free their slaves. Muhammad, he made them a slave again after they've been freed. 
But there is a story. Uh, I'm trying to remember the story here. Obviously, I'm getting tired. Uh, what was the story? I'm trying, you know, in, in, like some people, they ask me how you remember the Hadith. I don't really remember them. I remember, like, let us say, 30% word by word, let us say, not the whole thing. And then I search for word by word as I remember it, you know, and then I find it. Uh, otherwise, to remember like numbers and etc., it's impossible. And that's why when they say to you, Al-Bukhari, he remember all of those, it's a joke. There's no way. There's no way anyone, human being, can remember everything word by word. Uh, uh, is it really true that Muhammad said water cannot be impure? Yes. You know, he jumped. This is, an, this is if you want to prove that Muhammad is mentally ill, you know, there is, there is, a, there is a dry, uh, like a garbage well. Nobody use it. It's like for garbage or, you know, bad water, sewage water, garbage. So Muhammad, he go there and he jump inside that water. And people, they notice he is doing this. So they said to him, how do you do that? This is, this is a well have dead dogs. Women and blood from, you know, administration and garbage, stinky stuff. Even the Muslim translation says it's stinky stuff. So how you jump there? He said, well, the, the water is always pure and nothing make it impure. It's in front of you. And those hadith are authentic. And the will of the water is measured here. As you see the person here, Abu Dawood, he says, I measured the breadth of the well of Bid'ah with my sheet, uh, which I stretch over it. Then I measure it with, uh, with, with the hands. It measures six cubits in breadth. And how the height is, it was lower than his pubic area. So it's like a jacuzzi. So imagine jacuzzi have dead dogs women of blood from period, and even the water color change. Even the water is, is, is bad. Look, even the Hadith says that here. But anyway, anyway any water, you know, is not moving water, is a garbage water. You put for it dead dogs. Dead dogs, not one day, one dog, dead dogs. And women are blooded from period, and their rags. So imagine if you have one rag only, just one. How the water will look like? If you throw right now, one, I don't know what women they use these days, but the old days they used to use rags, right? If, you, if one woman, she take what she used for her menstruation and she dump it in a jacuzzi, what is the color of the jacuzzi will be? And how in the world Muhammad, he says water is pure? Obviously, this man is suffering from mental illness. Anyway, I think we have a good time today. And uh, thanks for the Muslims who call us. We have a very good time with you. We learned a lot from you. That uh, depend, maybe. Uh, uh, what the answer was? Maybe. Depend. Uh, <laughs> this is how the Muslim they answer us. Depend, maybe. Depend, and what did that mean? Did Allah... Uh, did, did Adam, did Allah use the word be after he made Adam from mud, etc., or before? Depends. Maybe. I don't know. Serious questions brought Muslims into their knees. So I want to say thank you all for being here. Maybe 
you can jump in the water have dead dogs and maybe you can enjoy it and maybe it's better if you throw some garbage in it and maybe if it's a sinky water is even better because maybe water is always pure imagine how many people would die because of spreading diseases by this way water is always pure nothing make it impure nothing but in case you do not know 90 maybe 5 percent of the piss is water in case you do not know 95 percent of your piss if not more i'm not sure let me let me go and search prophet google please be up on him how much water in i'm typing in arabic can you believe it these things always happen to me all the time all the time and I search in Arabic, I get a, a video about sex. <laughs> I type in English, but I, I look, it was Arabic. And then I found like, this what? Drinking what? <laughs> hold on, hold on. Uh, how much? You switch to English. How much water in urine? I was right. I just made it up 95. I was just guessing. Look at this 95% water in urine. So, my brother Abdul, don't worry. Your prophet was right. This is it clear? Because 95% brother of it is water. Oh boy. And honestly, I just I just said the number 95. Maybe from long time I did read it, I forgot. But I remember the number. But uh it's really funny how a man he how, it's a it's a clear sign, evidence of mental illness of a person who acts such an act. <clears throat> There's no way a person, he is a prophet of God, he will jump in dead, you no know, water, have dead dogs, women of blood from period. And even the Muslim themselves in their translation saying it is stinky, stinky garbage. You know, stinky garbage. You see, look, look this is a Muslim translation. This is not my translation. Do you see the word stinking? Read with me. Stinking things. So or, or, those things are really stinking. Like, you know, sometimes you might throw garbage, but it's not stinky yet. It's garbage because you don't need it. But this is a stinky garbage. It's not, it's not just garbage. The smell is all over. Do you see it? You might throw something in the garbage, but it's not a stinky yet. It's garbage, yes. But this is a stinky garbage. It means it's there for long. You know what I mean? It is there for long. And the Muslim, they will say to you, this is weak. Huh? It says sahih. Why he did write that? He did not. Muhammad, he said to the Muslim, don't write uh, uh, anything about me. Just to show you the IQ of the Muhammadan. Muhammad, he said to them, don't write anything about me except the Quran. Anything I say, anything I do. Look what the Muslim did. The Prophet said, Abu Sa'd al-Khudri reported that Allah Messenger said, don't take down anything from me. And he who took down anything from me except the Quran, he should efface it. This is stupidity. The guy, he just told them, don't write down anything I say except the Quran. They went there and they wrote down. The Prophet says, don't write anything. He just told you don't write it down. I mean, do you see the stupidity? The guy, he just told them, don't write down what I'm saying. 
Holy Quran. The Muslim they write down, the Prophet said, don't write down what I'm saying. <laughs> Imagine you are a teacher and you have such a student. The guy just told you, don't write it. So why are you writing it? It's just a fresh. The statement is a fresh. I mean, how fresh it can be more than this? He just said to them, don't write down what I say. Only Quran. They went to the wall and started saying, the prophet says, don't write thing, any dang thing, anything you say. Only Quran. What, what, what the heck? What kind of IQ is that? Oh boy. So guys, feel free to download my video. As you know, I don't keep them for long. And actually, I'm going to delete the previous videos. So you will have maybe this one only for now. So uh, I will leave it maybe until tomorrow. So you can download it, share it with your friends. You can cut it pieces like the Muslims who call me. Maybe you can cut the part where this woman, she called me, she is really weird. You know, Liza. She is 12th century old. Anyway, I want to say thank you. And may the Lord bless you all. As always, we prove Islam to be filthy, false, disgusting, garbage in, garbage out. And no Muslim can refute us. And we are happy for our sister, Aisha. She decided to leave Islam. But she did not choose yet to be Christian, but she is very close. So I would I would like you all to pray for her, that soon she will accept the Messiah as her Lord, as her Savior. And we pray that the Lord even will open the eyes of her family, so we can save the whole family together. And they will be joining together in the heaven of God one day. Thank you. And until we see you soon again, Christ is Lord. Islam is a joke. And Islam without lies dies. Take care. But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 